This is the controller, all the solenoids for my M12, M12,000 worn winch. And there was a bunch of videos out there for the 8,000 and the Xeon and all that. I want to show you how to test a solenoid because I got a bad solenoid. I'm going to tell you it's this guy right here because I already figured it out. But I uh, didn't have a lot of videos out there showing me how to test this. You have to remove all of that hardware that's interconnecting all of these solenoids. If not, you can't figure out which one is bad. But you don't have to remove this internal set of brown wires. So there's these four posts are connected. And I'm just going to put my ground on here. And I grabbed some literally four-way trailer wire that I had to make a test harness really quick. And I'm going to put my ground on a car battery here and my yellow on a positive terminal of the car battery. Pull it off for now so you can see how I test it. Then I'm going to set my ohmmeter, my multimeter to ohms. And I'm just going to do 200,000. It doesn't really matter. It's going to test out really quick. But I'm going to grab the other end of this cable and honestly just stick the green on here. Yeah, I could put some alligator clips on here and, and do it upright. But this is going to work to test, show you what I need. So that yellow is jammed in there and the green's jammed in there. And if I connect this over here, you'll hear it click. So you can hear that click. I even get little sparkies on there. That doesn't mean it's good. That means that the solenoid is activating. It doesn't mean that it's letting power go through. So I'm going to put one multimeter on that end and just hold it there and show you if I do this, it stays as an open circuit or an open load, open limit. It, it's not working. If I touch those leads together, it'll zero out. But if I touch that post, it's not, it's not working. If I take my test leads and do the same thing on another solenoid, so move it over here. Notice it clicks. Move over here, get the same thing. I get the clicks over here. Gotta one hand this. I bring that test lead over here. You'll see it zeroes out. So I'm going back to the one that's bad. I move it over here. Stick the test lead on it. It stays as an open load, and I can test it by touching the lead. But open load, it never, never closes that solenoid. It never engages that solenoid. So it clicks, but it doesn't engage. That's how you test it. I had to remove all of this hardware up here. Get all this. Stuff. All of these connecting rods. This guy was on the outside. This one was on the inside. This guy was here. That guy was there. Obviously, I had to take it out of the truck as well. Had the white wire on the outside of here. Had all that, all that stuff like that connected. The uh, the problem will ultimately ended up being that this solenoid is bad. I'm going to order another one of those and get it replaced and put it back together. But that's how you test it. The uh, You have to pull all of that out, ran some wires over to my battery. Put I put the negative on the inside and left all four of those connected. Just one more thing that I didn't have to take off. Put the positive on the outside of all of them, tested them. These three closed the circuit. This one did not close the circuit, stayed as an open load, which tells me it's a bad, it's a bad solenoid. And that's why my winch wouldn't go in. So the, the whole story here, you probably found this video because of this, is I was out there and my winch would not would not go back in. It would uh, it would go out. So I knew the motor was still okay because they just reversed the motor. And that's the problem I had. So now I just gotta get that and I'm going to put all this stuff back together until I get the parts in here, so I'm not trying to figure out. Although there are wiring diagrams online for this, but uh, I'll just keep it here on my, I wouldn't even call this my bench, it's on my tote in my garage. And get all these pieces in here so I know where they go when I go to put it back together. But that's it. Literally $12 solenoid. 
people are doing solenoid upgrades. Honestly, this thing lasted me, gosh, uh, 15 years with this setup. I'm just going to do the same solenoid back on there. Uh, I don't, I don't know. If it's not broke, don't fix it. I, I may clean these up with a wire wheel or a Dremel tool or put some dielectric grease on them, whatever. There's obviously some corrosion on there, but this frankly worked great how it was and then put it back together that way. So there you go. That's how it all goes back together. How you test it with a multimeter. Honestly, you don't need an expensive multimeter. You're not putting a big load to it. You're just testing the circuit opens and closes. You may have a bad one that um, is partially opening or closing. There's some resistance. In my case, it was it was completely inactive. It wasn't wasn't moving at all. So that's it. Thanks for watching.